So Mike is the father of Elise. Who had Elise this year? Who had Elise in, in all the years? Any of the years? So Mike, Mike, if you're not aware, um, two years ago we started Fathers Club um, here at Chisholm Trail. And it was ground floor. Um, it had started in Blue Valley. It kind of spread into our high schools here. We started asking questions about what about middle schools. And I'm going to shout out Mike Davidson, who's holding the camera back there. He's the head of all Fathers Club. And um, it was Mike uh, that I got connected with um, through Mike Davidson in the back and through some others. Um, but Mike stepped up, jumped up and was was all in from the very beginning and you you hear all the announcements we do the fist bumps and things i want to read some of the things that, that mike did um, but he was he was just the champion for father's club and as last year continued on i asked if he would be our chair of father's club and he more than willing uh stepped stepped into that and um, has been the leader for the last two years of chisholm trails father's club um, we're going to miss him next year um, as he is continuing his father's club, but he's going to be LA the South. South, right? Yeah. Uh, LA the South with Elise and four great years ahead for him. Um, but I just want to read some of the things, and Mike in the back, help me out if I've left anything off. Okay, so uh, back in January, um, we held a Screen Sanity event, and that was for our parents. Um, it was uh, put on by our father's club. And it was not super well attended. <laughs> but Mike was there. Every time he goes to any event, he comes in early. He sets up the Father's Club banners, he's everything. And he was there that evening uh, representing Father's Club. Father's Club sponsored alcohol and fentanyl, which was also this semester. Um, and they were behind that. Um, monthly fist bumps. That was something that came to fruition this year. We did it some sporadically last year, but at first Friday of every month. Uh, the fist bumps, Mike was behind the scenes getting it out to all the dads, uh, working with the building. Um, and, you know, I think about next year when we're doing that, I would love for each of you to just get a chance to see the dads if you, if you haven't seen them in action, because it's just really cool to see our kids walk past all these dads, and especially when a student knows one of the dads and just that reaction. Uh, it's such a positive. Uh, the last fist bumps, we gave out donuts. Um, Mike's the one that's driving all over town, sometimes all over town, right? Because uh, it depends on what daylight you call. But. Last year I called the wrong daylight, and so I had to go across the Waco. Uh, I didn't know there were two daylights. So I called the wrong one. We had a fifth grade parent night. Uh, this uh, back in January, we had our back to school night. And Mike is the one that's here for those nights. He's putting in a lot of nights for Chisholm Trail. Um, not because he has to, because he wants to, and he's super passionate about helping kids, about Father's Club and what it, what it can do. Um, he and the Father's Club group provided coffee and donuts for our staff. Um, I can't remember when that was. It was, it was kind of in a, one of the appreciation, the holidays, yeah, the holidays this past year. Um, and just again, just the really big task of starting something brand new and uh, leaving it in a position that can continue it forward and we continue to grow it. Um, when I think about Starfish and when I think about what this award, award is intended uh, to recognize, uh, Mike, you are the epitome of this award and uh, could I thank you enough for all that you've done for Chisholm Trail um, and we wish you and we wish Elise all the best in high school. So thank you so much.